Morning, 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 everybody. Michelle is here on this Saturday morning. Well, it's almost noon, actually. Uh, July the 13th, 2024, on a Saturday. I um, got myself up, handled my business, and now I just wanted to come in and talk to you a bit about some things that are crucial to your evolution of your consciousness. And if you're not going to consider this um, reality that I'm about to share, I would um, stop kidding yourselves and just, um, let's see if I can get this light. I would, I would um, challenge myself and not kid myself about actually how I wanted to develop. And everything is a free will, you know. Uh, so many people are coming coming out against free will and, and, and attempting to indoctrinate you into believing you have no free will. And that's a bunch of garbage. And you are being told that you have no free will for a reason. It's to keep you uh, submissive, subservient, and, and, and to keep you subjugated. Meaning that you... Uh, are told to believe a certain thing versus the reality of a certain thing. So I put a lot of videos out on beliefs and I told you if you don't challenge, if you don't consider challenging your beliefs, I would stop right now kidding yourself about developing yourself. Cut it out. If you are not willing to challenge your beliefs, your self-care, your self-love and all that is uh, uh, becomes irrelevant and becomes worthless because if you challenge your beliefs, your beliefs will have you believing so many things about what it is to be a genuine human being in the true sense and what it means to evolve yourself, elevate yourself. It means challenging your beliefs literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. In the beginning, um, when I decided to do this type of work because this is work what I do and I enjoy it I told you if I could do this and you know for free I would I mean because it's about helping humanity is what I'm doing and I feel so joyful and enthusiastic about it because I see the benefits I hear the benefits I sense and receive the benefits of being grounded in my reality and living genuinely and authentically uh, in the best way possible and continuing to develop myself, having fun in the meantime. I don't have my ego stepping in because your ego is there to protect you, you know, but the ego does not run your life. And that's where we really, really need to get a hold of that as well. I put a post out that says, don't fall in love with your ego. Just respect your ego. That's all. Don't fall in love with your ego because then you become self, self-absorbed and all you care about is yourself. I can talk to a lot of people and I've talked to a lot of people over the years from all walks of life and I can immediately tell when they are self-absorbed and that's fine. I mean, I think that's an indoctrination and that's a belief. Self-love and self-care is not self-indulgence, by the way. So you just have to know the difference. Know the difference. Uh, there is n there is nothing about anything that you say within yourself that you can't challenge. Even the fact that if you are providing self-care and self-love, what does that mean to you to have self-care and self-love? Okay, like I said, it's not self-indulgence. Okay, it's not self-righteous. Okay, and those kind of things. So beliefs are unproven. So a lot of us, millions and billions of us, are going around with beliefs that are unproven. And so you're wasting a, almost a large majority of time of your life, okay, wasting it on unproven events. Now, who does that? And ask yourself, why would you do that? Why would you sp spend such precious time, as we all talk about, on uh, something that doesn't that's unproven, you know, and why wouldn't you challenge it? No one has to know. So when it comes to beliefs, and beliefs, are, like I said, they, they, they turn out to be unproven. That's exactly what beliefs are. 
So again, why would you want to hold on to, hold on to something that's unproven? It has here beliefs are a mental act, condition, or habit of placing trust and confidence in another. Okay, uh, and that that's contradicting right there. And then it says here me mental exception exception. I'm sorry, a mental acceptance of and conviction in the truth, actuality. See, some of these things have been, some of these uh, dictionaries, like I said, they change. Okay. It's unproven. Beliefs are unproven. Let's see what it says here. It says here that you have a uh, subjective attitude that that you know that that is that is true okay a belief um it says here philosophers use this use the term belief to refer to attitudes about the world which can be either true or false okay so your your responsibility to be a, tr a, a genuine human being in a true sense is to what? Make sense of the world or make sense of your world. Is that correct? Or do you just run on, just run by the seat of your pants and not even consider things? See, most people are not doing that. A lot of things are going on internally. That's why you have to challenge that. And, you, and a lot of, it's out of, you know, in other words, it's, it's, it's um, unconscious. So you have to, you have to challenge it. That's self-love. It's not self-indulgence. It's self-love to say, okay, why do I believe this? Why do I believe in this? Why do I believe in that? When there's nothing to prove it, you know. And a lot of people get defensive, too, about their beliefs. Extremely, extremely. Um, and, you know, you, you really have to be very respectful of people and their beliefs because some of it, some beliefs are so deeply held that some, if if it's if they are if they actually knew the truth, because beliefs are the opposite of truth. Okay. If they actually knew the truth, that may be life threatening. I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be really honest when I say that. That's why I say you have to be gentle and kind with yourself when you're attempting to understand yourself, because you may discover something about yourself that's just that is uh, causing you a lot of despair and that you actually hate yourself instead of, you know, because usually when people are self-indulgent, that's a, that's a possible unconscious act. Let's see what it says about self-indulgence. So everything is um, stages. And you just need someone, if you choose to, to to kindly guide you into the right sphere, into the right space, onto the right path, destination, whatever you need help with. Okay. Um, you know, self indulgence is just. I mean, it says it right here. You know, you have no. Uh, you know. You, you, you have no restraints usually. You're not disciplined usually. Um, you know, you, you you just unrestrained. You know, of one own one's own appetites, desires. Okay. It says here is an act of allowing yourself to have and do anything that you enjoy often. Disapprovingly, you know, you you know, it's a it's 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 um. They say vanity. Um, selfish, you know, everything's a choice as to what you do, okay. But you you really need to consider why you're doing things, so that you can get yourself out of this spin, you know, this unconscious spin, of of a. Uh, uh, of an abyss is where you're going to keep, where you're always going to keep landing. 
You can always keep landing. I saw a post and I thought that was an excellent point. This this uh, particular person says she says uh, either evolve or repeat. That is powerful, and that is simply what it is. Either you evolve or you repeat. The spin cycle, you know, do, just doing everything the same, deja vu, deja vu, deja vu, having the same experiences over and over, over and over, over and over, and you're not elevating out of it. You're not evolving out of it to see clearly. You're in this spin of, you know, as I said, darkness is is an, a powerful experience as well because you have to integrate the darkness with the light. You can't attempt to eliminate the darkness or even eliminate the light. Some people have a problem with, you know, being, having a problem with positivity because they are extreme. They're, they're thinking extreme positively. And that can be very, very, very dangerous. I think that's more dangerous than people want to give it credit for. You know, yes, negativity, you know, I mean, that, that speaks for itself. But positivity is also is extremely dangerous, too much wanting to just everything to be positive. That's going to cause self-harm. Trust me on that. All right. You need to neutralize both aspects of each coin or each sphere or each. Everything has to be considered and it's difficult. You know, I was reading something the other day or listening to something the other day where one of my teachers, he said, um, to be a human being is difficult. To be a genuine human being in the true sense is extremely difficult. But yet that's what we are responsible for. We're not responsible for gathering up property, accumulating a lot of money, accumulating a lot of property, materialism, but you can that's the free will about it. And that's what's amazing about free will. But if you choose to, if that's what you want to do, have at it. Okay, and I also put another post out saying knowing. Knowing. We all have a knowing. And some people call it uh, uh, intuition, instinct, which are two different things. But I don't want you to fo focus so much on the words right now. Just focus, just, just focus on the activity and what results you're getting from certain activities, okay? Some of us have a knowing. We are innately inclined and we know things and we don't know why we know it, but we know it, okay? Those people, that there's just so few like that, unfortunately. But, you know, that's the way of the world. Um, but there are so few that know that and sometimes because of the because we're dealing with this this intense force of negativity uh i mean and i mean it's intense there's an intense film of negativity that's covering this planet literally figuratively and metaphorically so it's difficult sometimes to see through the clouds i told you it's just imagine being in the middle of a million people or even put it, even a billion people. Imagine being in the center of that, and you're trying, and you want to get across to here, and you want to go in there. There's going to always be interference, always, forever and ever. So there are those that have this knowing about them, and sometimes it's not. It's sometimes you can't place it into words. If you attempt to put it into words, people are going to think you're crazy or people are going to think this or they're going to think that. So sometimes you do need to be silent about your skills and abilities is my point. You don't have to share what your skills and abilities are with everybody. A lot of people that do that usually get in trouble because they're doing it for uh, financial gains. You know, in other words, they, all they see is the financial gains of it all. It's okay to want to support yourself, but when you bring in greed and you attempt to exploit yourself based on your perception of some type of skills and abilities that you have, which are possibly delusions, you know, you're, gonna, you're just going to get yourself wrapped up in some, I mean, why would you want to get yourself wrapped up in more, more problems that we all have on this planet? We all have a lot of things on our plate 
that we are attempting to resolve. There's a lot of people just constantly going through the same stuff over and over and over and over. And then they say to themselves, and I know it's said to themselves, you know, why do I keep getting myself into these kind of blah, blah, blah? Why do I keep meeting these kind of blah, blah, blah? Why do, you know, in this, this constant deja vu, deja vu. Again, I can help, you know, and as others are doing their, their parts in helping. But it all starts from you. If you want to evolve, then that means it requires some work, some intention, some purpose. No one has to know that, though. Um, that, like I said, all of us have a certain level of consciousness development anyway. There are some that are way below standards. I mean, I mean, a majority of the people are way below standards. Why? It's because they are relying on fantasies and re re relying on beliefs. You know, they, they believe someone's coming to save them. But, but any time I ask, well, who's coming, I, 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 I don't get an answer. And I know I, know I will not ever get an answer because who, whoever's coming is to save them is a fantasy. The only people that can save any of us is, is we can save ourselves. Okay, the only people that are, will come and save anybody is human beings. Human beings save human beings. Okay, animals are not going to save us. Trees are not going to save us. Birds are not going to save us. But those animals give us, give us signs. Okay? Trees, animals, nature in general gives you signs. Signpost. Okay? They give you information. They give you impulses. But you have to reconnect. You have to reconnect to nature. You know, reconnect and do this via meditation or whatever, whatever it means to you to be grounded and attached to reality. I say this with so much, I, I talk about this so much is because I can, I know friends, I have friends that are completely you know, seat in their beliefs of supernatural events. And I told you what supernatural is. Supernatural is just is, um, illusions. Supernatural. What does it say here? It's like every time I come in and look at some of these meanings, <laughs> oh God, it's like, you, you know, you could tell that they are constantly being uh, up, um, updated with commercialism, sadly. Ugh. So that's why you got to really get on top of, of stuff and know what it means to you and make sure you write it down, you know, write it down in your own handwriting. It says uh, supernatural refers to a phenomena or entity that are beyond the laws of nature. Okay, so that ought to give that ought to be a red flag for you. What is beyond the laws of nature when nature sets the stage for the laws? In other words. I just, I, I'll just allow people to think about that themselves. Um, but yes, they believe in supernatural events or supernatural, um, you know, like angels, demons, God, spirits, you know, and they claim they have these abilities, um, you know, of reading uh, palms. I mean, you know, those kind of things really need to be managed properly so that you can stay above water, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. Think about your beliefs and your uh, 
in any of your philosophies, you know, your metaphysical ideology. A, you know, your, your spiritualism, pay attention to that. Your religious spiritualism, a spirituality, pay attention to those kind of things. Certain things may exist, but how, how um, reasonable are they to be reproduced? Can your beliefs be reproduced? That's so important to ask. So I'm going to keep talking about beliefs because beliefs are probably the, 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 the number one factor as to why a lot of people are going to be swimming in an abyss forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Deja vu, deja vu, deja vu all the time, all over, over and over and over again. And you're going to be spinning. Some of, some people are just, just going to be spinning forever until the final end. You know, spinning forever until the final end. And, that, and as I said, it's a spinning of not elevating out of the spin. You're just in a constant spin and you're not moving. You're just there. They're having the same experiences over and over and over again. God, that would drive me insane. And that's what's happening to a lot of people. They're sending themselves into a self-created, man-made dementia. Where their thoughts are, they're not thinking. So, the, so their brain cells are atrophying. Or they're, they're experiencing atrophy. And eventually, you're going to look into their eyes. And you're going to realize no one's there. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Challenge your beliefs. And I'll have more about this. And this will continue for a long time. Because that has to be the prerequisite of your life. Otherwise, evolving your consciousness is fruitful. And chances are... It will not happen. All right? Peace and love. And trust me, I will be back.